I thought we agreed on this. We did. We do. It's just... The last guy who tried to be my dad gave up a long time ago. Well, like you said, it's a long time ago. I'm your dad now, and I'm not about to give up on you. Ever. Don't say I didn't warn you. I've been warned. Are we okay? Where do I sign? Oh, that's a relief for a second there. I thought we weren't going to go through with this. Hey, I'm no idiot. I know what I'm getting. Yeah, only about the best daddy in the whole wide world. <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. Yeah. It wasn't so painful, was it? Not so bad. <clears throat> oh, sorry, sorry. Hands. <laughs> Son. Fine. You think you know so damn much about running a company? Be my guest. But obviously Palmer thought you'd need help or he never would have asked me to run the company for you. You'd just be a huge pain. Well, at least I'm not an arrogant, judgmental Neanderthal who has no idea how to live in the real world. This is the real world. Oh, go back and eat your damn squirrel, then. And leave living in civilization to those of us who have the courage enough to face it head on. Dorothy, you have no idea what I'm capable of. Sure I do. I know you're capable of being very difficult and chopping wood and throwing people over your shoulder. But functioning as a compassionate, decent human being... Now, you should go back to your pile of rocks. Well, I would if it were there. I offered to write you a check. No, oh, that's refused. right. Just throw, throw money at it. Just keep throwing money at everything. That fixes everything, well, it doesn't sure it? sure as hell would fix this. Uh, then I'd never have to see you again. Yeah. You have a problem here? Yes, officer. This woman is harassing me. Well, maybe you should calm down a little bit. Look, if you want to get rid of me, all you have to do is sit down and figure out how we are going to deal with Cortland Electronics. If you'll excuse me, my eardrums are going to explode if I hear another syllable. The man is impossible. I didn't know you had a meeting scheduled with Caleb. We did not have a meeting scheduled. This was a coincidence. I was just here minding my own business, trying to take a walk on a gorgeous day. And you know what I really think? I think he followed me. I just want him to get out of my sight by any means possible, as soon as possible. you so much. You just can't get enough of me. I will love you, take care of you, support you, make you feel happy and safe, secure. I'm the woman who makes you feel alive, that you can talk to, connect to your body and soul. Come back to me, JR. Come with me, JR.
this excitement. I'm sure he's made me late to the hospital. And you know those book carts, they do not post themselves. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay, what do you guys say we open up some soda to celebrate? Huh? Extra sugar, extra caffeine for me. I love it. Man, thanks a lot for getting the paperwork together so fast. It means a lot. I don't know. I'm just... I'm not used to this. You know, it looks like you've just switched. Jekyll to Hyde overnight. Hyde to Jekyll. Jekyll's a good guy. I keep up in my GED stuff. It's a good book. Right. I don't know, it's just cool, man. Stuff with Tad. I never thought it would happen like this, you know? Maybe someday we'll even be friends. Who knows? <laughs> Where's this coming from? What? I don't know. Like, seriously, I just feel really happy right now. <laughs> you haven't congratulated me, officially. <laughs> Round one is on the house. All right, guys, what do you say? There you go, one for you, one for you, and a toast. Cheers. We got nothing to talk about. Caleb, I came to apologize. You don't apologize. Yes, I do, when I'm wrong. And, and I have been wrong. You saved my life, Caleb, and I haven't been acting very grateful lately, so I'd like to start over, if you're willing. I brought you some Jim, your favorite. Call me when you get this, okay? Let me know when you'll be home. Lost track of Annie? <sighs> probably went shopping. Yeah, probably. I get it, Marissa. I know what it must be like to live under the same roof as the woman who JR cheated on you with. Do you? No. But I know it can't be easy. I know it's gotta hurt. And with Adam gone and my father dead, Palmer, I, I just want this family to get along again. You remember Palmer's will? Mm-hmm. Yeah. His wish that our generation be better than our father's. So, what, I should just forget what Annie did? I'm trying to with JR. Yeah, because it's good for business now that you have equal shares in the company. No, because we're family. You and I have fallen for challenging people, but we see the best part of them. And we think that's what makes it all worth it. So why not work together? We can do this, Marissa. We can bring this family back together. Hi, I'm looking to save money on my car.